the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with meteorologist Tom Harris. And welcome back. A beautiful day to be at the Waves Resort. The water park there looks fantastic. A lot of visitors in town. Imagine a lot of families out there enjoying that. Now, along the southeastern United States, the surfers are enjoying some of the waves that are going to be coming in, and they're only going to be building over the next couple of days. But you got to be careful because they're going to have high risk of rip currents. You can just watch this one wave. Whoops, and down he goes. But uh, we could see some increased surf here also later this week if there is a system that develops in the Gulf. Right now we're at 92 degrees with some cloudy skies. Winds are a little bit breezy out of the east at 13 miles per hour. High temperature today 96 degrees. That's three degrees above normal. We saw no rainfall out at the airport, so still more than seven and a half inches below normal. Now temperatures around the coastal bend 87 in Rockport, 96 in Beeville. Alice is coming in at 94, but when you're fact in the humidity Humidity feels more like 101 in Beeville, 99 for us, 93 in Rockport. But the breeze definitely helps blowing out of the southeast about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now the winds are going to be calm in the early morning hours on Sunday. Then we'll also see just a light breeze in the afternoon. That's going to give us pretty good beach and boating forecast also for a lot of those people in town. Winds are going to shift to the northeast. That's going to be bringing in some drier air, so less uh, showers and thunderstorms are seas are only going to be running right around two feet. Bays are going to be smooth, low risk of rip currents out there. Now we did see some showers, uh, as I mentioned this afternoon and early this morning. Most of those dwindling at this point. It's pretty good rain along the university area. Flower Bluff, about a half an inch of rain. Also about three tenths of an inch of rain across parts of Nueces Bay over in Port A, close to a half an inch of rain. Then this little storm between Bishop and Kingsville, also about a half an inch of rain. This portion, northern Clayburg County, about 2.3 inches of rain. But here's what we're watching, a tropical wave, and that's going to be moving across the Gulf. And you can see that's going to be increasing our moisture. We're going to be dry tomorrow, but then we'll see that moisture coming closer on Monday. Isolated showers to more scattered Tuesday and Wednesday. But of course, Hurricane Dorian is what all eyes are on the next couple of days. It is a Category 4 hurricane, winds of 150 miles per hour gusting to 185 miles per hour. Now this is going to impact much of the southeast. The good news is the track has shifted a little bit off to the east, so it may not make an, a direct hit across parts of Florida, but it's going to stay a category two all the way up across parts of the Carolinas. Here's a look at our forecast for tonight. Partly cloudy, isolated showers. Look for an overnight low, 77 degrees. The bit drier tomorrow, 96 degrees. Seven day forecast brought to you by NEC Co-op Energy. It's going to be warm tomorrow. Isolated showers on your Labor Day, but still pretty good. 95. This is what we're going to be watching. Scattered showers if that moisture stays in a tropical wave. It will also be cooling down our temperatures for the middle part of the work week. So what's going on in sports? Jeff's going to have the answer to that right after the break.